Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on today's video. So hopefully you've been following me the whole week and learnt a little bit about ISO annotations and the next one I want to look at and sort of concentrate on today is the start point function. Now I've got my area 3 model here, I'm just going to xref in some equipment and I'm going to xref in some structure just to get an idea on where we are in, in the whole scheme of the project and let's look at our structural model and structural model for the concrete. Okay, now I wanted to look at this pipe run here. So this one here that goes to the pump suction. So it comes out of the reboiler, travels down and gets sucked into the pump here. Now if I put a break point in, Actually, let's not. Let's just run it and see. Actually, we will put a break point in because they'll, they'll show me spool one and spool two. So let's put it in over here. And then it is line number 1013. So we'll run 1013 as a final. Okay, and then that should come up in a second when it's when it's been created and we can see which way it's started and finished it and then that way we can determine whether we really need to reverse the flow and, and put a start point on it okay so there's my balloon and school number one is the pump suction okay so we don't want this. We want this to be the other way. We want it to run one from the reboiler and two to be the one going into the pump. So just to double check that and to show you. So spool number two is the discharge side out of the reboiler. So I want this to be sheet one, not sheet two. Okay, so what we can do is use the start function. Uh, so let's just switch to right hand view. And there's that connection so I can say give me the start point to be from this side okay and now when we run the ISO so same thing so it's line number 1013 1013 final overwrite so we'll just wait for the ISOs to finish wait for the little um, notification balloon. Sometimes you can tell when the cursor stops moving for a split second, it's it's like it's done its thinking and before it generates the balloon, so you can see the cursor stopped moving around, I know that's when my ISO has been finished. So now if I look at spool number one, it is the one coming out of the reboiler. So you can see connected to e E001 and if we look at the second sheet, which will be spool two, which is the one going into the pump for suction. So this is the order that I want them to be in. Okay, so if you're having problems with ISOs not running correct directions and the way you want them, have a look at using the start point function in here where you can add start points and then ultimately it will follow all the way through. So. Thanks for joining me for this week for Plant 3D uh, Isometrics and Annotations. So hopefully it's been informative for you as always. If you've got any comments, please leave them in the comments section of any of the videos that we had for this week. Uh, I'll be more than happy to try and answer them. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow for something else Autodesk related. I haven't decided yet. Uh, it could be just a week of forum answers or it could be civil or reforks. We haven't played with Inforex for a while, so maybe we'll do something there. But thanks for watching and hopefully you have a good weekend and I will see you later. See ya.